Hey guys, so um, this is a, where to find it? <laughs> so we actually were down to Myrtle Beach yesterday just for like a day trip and there's a um, store in the nor North Myrtle Mall. Um, there's not much there anymore, honestly. It's like a pretty cool Bass Pro Shops, but that's about it. And um, there's a Player's Choice store and it's like retro toys, games. Um, they have a pretty big arcade too. Um, and I seen this and I thought like I'd had something like this before and just never opened it. Um, so I thought it was fairly old, but this actually came out in like, 2021. So yeah, there's the year there, 2021. So maybe not. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, found it pretty cheap. I think it was like 30 bucks, something like that. Um, and what I like about it is you get Bowser and you get Mario and it's pretty cool size figures. Um, I guess kind of like the six inch scale, maybe, maybe you can call it that with the Mario figures. Um, so this is actually called the Bowser's Lava Battle Set. Um, I don't know, just looks like a classic Bowser and Mario to me. So, um, on the side we get a picture of Mario. On the back we get a picture of pretty much everything in the package. And on the side we get another picture of Mario. So the only thing left to do is just open this up and see how it is. <coughs> All right, so everything out of the package, it was pretty simple, but I did want to mention that, like, uh, I actually used zip ties for uh, Bowser, so there was, like, two of these holding them back. Oh, this is interesting. I've never seen, like, where they use zip ties for uh, a figure. Um, so pretty much this is all you get here. Um, in the box, it was, like, a uh, kind of like a castle backdrop, so it was kind of what you've seen in, like, the pictures. Um, first thing I'll do is go over the bomb. Um, the legs kind of just bend, they don't really move, like they just kind of rotate. Um, I know this mine looks a little off, like this one looks pretty straight, but this one looks a little bent over. So, I can't really get it to stand, but it does like kind of rest on the back of this, and this thing actually winds, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it don't pop out or anything, like, easy, but you can kind of have it rest on the back of it if you want to. Um, next thing is Mario um, has a little articulation. So his arms go up like that. Elbows bend about 90 degrees. Uh, doesn't bend backwards though, so his arms just kind of do that. Um, head moves a little bit, but not a whole lot because his chin is like right here on his chest. So every time you bend it, you can kind of hear that the little squeak where it's rubbing up against it. Um, does it have knee bend? So, I guess you kind of do that. It's, and I noticed too, the back of his hair will like push his arms down. So like, if I have his arms up like this, you can see like his hair is pushing his arm down. So, um, I wonder if I can get him to stand on one foot. Huh, that was pretty easy actually. <laughs> so, um, so it's a well-balanced figure, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> see, I think the big thing, well, obviously, the biggest thing here is the Bowser. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of articulation. The arms just kind of rotate. They don't really go up and down too much. Um, so, like, if I get it, there's, like, a joint in there somewhere where it can kind of go left to right or up and down or whatever. You just have to kind of rotate it. It's hard to really see it. Um, he does have like a little bit of elbow articulation. So it kind of goes in and out like that. And I can't quite get his arms, like one's like, this one's further down than the other one. So you may want to raise this arm to kind of even it out if you want to. Um, but I don't think they're meant to be even. So you could do like that. Um, his wrist do, and there's like a pin right here. So his wrist kind of go back and forth, but not much. That's all the way up. That's all the way down. So you're not going to get a whole lot out of that. His legs have just the hip joint articulation. Um, and then his tail just kind of moves back and forth. The shell on the back is pretty, 
well done. Um, just simple colors, green, brown, you know, white, and then these little kind of off-white uh, spikes. Mouth is done really good. So this time it's kind of like a deeper red than like the roof of his mouth. You know, overall the eyes are really done well. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm. Um, I mean, that's a pretty cool figure. Just, I don't know. <clears throat> I thought it would be a little better than I anticipated, I guess. But, <clears throat> I mean, overall, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, you know, it was only 30 bucks. I mean, it's a, kind of a neat display to put somewhere. Um, not that I'm, like, real excited about, though. Um... I don't know, I've seen like the uh, Mario Worlds and they're all done by Jack Specifics and, or uh, just Jacks now. I thought they were Jack Specifics. Um, but they, um, yeah, they're kind of like more like kids' toys, I think. And I think this is kind of the vibe with this one, too. So, you know, no problem or anything. It's just, you know. That's what you're going to get out of them. But I thought a lot of them look really cool, and they're usually pretty cheap. Um, to be honest with you, if I was wanting to get something a little bit more to it, I would probably go with the SH Figure Arts. Um, I don't know if they actually make any more Marios, but I know they made a bunch back in the day. I know that store had, like, the uh, Fire Mario, which I used to have, and it was a really good one, too. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, overall, I'd give it a seven, you know, for the price point, it's, you know, I mean, if it was like 20 bucks, then it'd probably be an eight, but yeah, I mean, for what it is, I'm going to just give it a seven. Um, pretty cool set, pretty cool display, but just, you know, not a whole lot to it, but, um, thanks, thank you all for watching.